What's up guys, it's your boy Retro Reflex and we are back with another FIFA 20 player review. Today we're going to be looking at Icon Moments Kaka. I loved his uh, baby card, I loved his prime card. The middle was good but not as good as those other two. I prefer the baby over the middle. But here we are looking at the prime moments, Icon Moments and this card just on paper is insane. Amazing stats in it as you see there. He has the finesse shot trait and the outside first shot trait. Both are extremely, extremely great traits to have. And he does have the flare trait as well. But most players have that. If not all Brazilian type players. But um, yeah. So pace wise, very, very good. By the way, I bought him with a dead eye. You could put an engine on if you really wanted to. But I just wanted to get that finishing all the way up to 99. And increase the long shots. And just increase that passing. Because his passing stats are the lowest stats on this card. Besides the funding, obviously. But... Pace wise, very fast. I play him as a striker and a cam. Very effective in both those positions. He has high medium, so he fits both of those positions very nicely. You can also play him as a wide cam, but I think he's just it's just better to have him as a central player. Um, shooting wise, very good shooting. Very consistent finisher. Very good shot power, long shot. He has the finesse shot tray. His finesse shots are amazing. Very, very good. They go in like 9 out of 10 times, more than that. Um, the outside first shot trait is very nice to have, just gives him more depth to his shooting, just shooting from different angles. I love the outside first shot trait. Um, all my favorite players in FIFA 20 have that trait. Also, moving on to the passing, passing is very, very good. Uh, one of the best passes in the game. Through balls, over the top through balls, short passing, build up play. Very, very good. He's a great playmaker. Dribbling wise, very good agility. Nothing crazy like Messi, but um, he has, he's very agile. No problem with him there. Agility's at 90. You could boost that up with an engine or something like that. Or even a sniper might be good for him. I think sniper might be better than Deadeye for this guy because you don't have to increase the passing. But um, yeah, just the agility is very, very good nonetheless. Ball control is great. Combine that with the 80 strength. Um, 80 strength is good enough. He's very strong as a cam. A cam with 80 strength is good enough for me. Um, very strong. Hard to push off the ball. Just very good all around. His free kicks are very nice as well. As you see right here into the top left corner. Um, dribbling is very good, guys. Uh, he can dribble past people. I won a lot of like dribbling runs with him. I'm not that great of a skiller in this game, so I can't really pull off a lot of skill moves uh, consistently, but skills do come out very nicely with this guy. 99 composure as well, um, just under so much pressure, you can get a shot, banging in a finesse shot, even with defenders draped all around him. Just that composure comes in very clutch a lot of the time. I think he scored a header for me, um, but otherwise I wouldn't really. He can win headers like in the midfield, he is 6 foot 1 so he's pretty tall um, for a cam. So he can win headers to regain possession of the ball off goal kicks or anything like that. Um, if your opponent messes up on his goal kicks, you can win possession back. 88 stamina, very good. Doesn't run out of stamina. Lasts the whole match for me. Strength is very good, like I was saying. Hard to push off the ball. Um, just He's good at shielding opponents off the ball. He's just a very, very good can, guys. Costs around um, 2 million coins right now. I'm losing a lot of coins on players, man. It's ridiculous, but he's just very good. I'm not even going to go over the pros and cons. <clears throat> just because they're so amazing. He has five star skill moves, by the way. I don't think I mentioned that. Only thing I would change um, that would make him the best cam in the game for me is a five star weak foot. I wish he had he has four star weak foot. I wish he had five stars. But other than that, guys, just an elite player. So much fun using this guy. I love Kaka in real life. I know a lot of you do too. He's just a legend. Oh, my phone just went off. Sorry about that. But he's just a legend. Very great player. And, you know. He finally has a card he deserves. Those other cards were amazing, don't get me wrong. But I feel like Kaka, he just... Like this card, this icon moment should be like a 96 at least. Those other cards should be around 90, 92. Um, the Prime should be a 92 or 94, but... 94, so this card's very good. Um, I don't understand why they didn't give him a higher rating, but... It is what it is. Kaka, very great player in this game. I'm going to be giving Kaka's Icon Moments card a 99 of 100. Very good player. Had a lot of fun playing with them. Uh, just a pretty pricey. 
Uh, you can get a lot of different players for that price, but he's just so fun to use. He made the game fun to play. Uh, just having him centrally is very, very good, very effective, um, very good in weekend league. Uh, just a great player, guys. Definitely recommend you guys trying him. If you do have the coins, pick him up. And that's all I have today, guys. Thank you so much for the review, uh, watching the review. Leave a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you want to see more content. And, yeah, just let me know. Uh, any com Leave a comment below who you want to see me review next or any other questions. Just let me know. And, yeah, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you all. Have a great day. Stay healthy. And peace.